Hey guys, welcome to Filaments Folly. Today we're going to be doing something really fun. We're going to be using stable diffusion to create alphas for ZBrush for sculpting on models and texturing them. Now, if you don't have stable diffusion installed, I've got a link below to a video that's got all the information you're going to need to go ahead and install this. I'm not going to be doing it here just because it will probably change so quickly by the time you see this video, it may already be out of date. But the video below, the guy's got really good videos on how to install this stuff. So let's look at what we have here for stable diffusion. We have this area up here where we're gonna put our prompt. So we have you know veins and high contrast, detailed 8K. I don't know how well detailed 8K work, but I'm just gonna leave them on there. This stuff here, you know, if you want really, really nice, you can up the steps. I'm not going to because I only have so much VRAM on my graphics card, and it will crash if I'm trying to record and keep this really high. I'd keep it at 512. And we want to make sure that tiling is enabled. So let's go ahead and do that. And when you come in, it's going to go ahead and have this at one, bump it up to four. Now I've already got a couple run here and you can see that, you know, we've got a bunch of different ones. I think this one might be kind of cool here and this one might be kind of cool, but let's go ahead and hit generate. And, you know, let's actually generate one of these with stone instead and hit generate. All right, so we generated some images here. Not super happy with all of these. We can always hit generate again, but we can look at these here. These, some of these are cool. Some of these, might, this one might be nice, actually. I, I kind of like that one. Mm, that one's okay, and this one's okay. Now, I already have a bunch of these that I already generated down here. So we got some for veins and stones and things like that. So let's open up one of the ones I've already generated that looks nice. So let's go ahead and I actually want to try this one. And let's try one of the veiny ones too. Let's try that one. So I like these tiled because I'm going to be able to make these images bigger here in Photoshop. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to hit Command J. I'm going to uh, hit Command Alt C. And I'm going to take this to 200% on both of these and then just do it from the top left hand. And I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm just going to copy this over. It should snap in. Command E to go ahead and combine it and then down. Now that looks really cool. I like that. That gets kind of tedious. So for this one here, what I've done is I've actually created an action that just kind of does that for me. Now. With this one, it's already in black and white. We're really good for an alpha. We may want to put a blur on this, and we'll see that later on in the video. But for this one, it's obviously not in black and white yet. So let's come up here, and let's select all these. Hit Command E just to combine it into one. But before we go ahead and make this grayscale, let's go ahead and add a little contrast in. So let's go ahead and bring those levels in here, and bring them in here. And let's come in here now and go model grayscale. Flatten. That looks okay. Let's uh, hit Command L and bring up this again. And that's looking much better. Now, this is going to be really super crunchy, and I think it might be too crunchy. So, what I like to do is come up here to filters. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and hit Command J and duplicate that layer so we can undo it if we want. Uh, filter, blur gallery, field blur. Now that's too much blur. But up here we can go ahead and drag this down. Now you can also do it in the center here. I mean it's just kind of more of a preference. I just like the slider there. And I'm going to go ahead and dial that just a little. There we go. And let's hit OK. And let's save this one at, right here under Stone Floor V2, because I've already done this tutorial once. And let's save this one as Veins in Height. Let's just keep that name there. I like that name under Documents. All right, let's open up ZBrush. All right, let's go ahead and get a... Uh, 
DynoMesh Sphere out, and let's hit Control D and subdivide this a couple times. That should be more than enough polys. Let's get our drag brush or drag and get our alpha out here. And let's start with the high contrast veins. I'm going to turn off symmetry just because we need more room here. And that looks really cool. I like that, but you see how pitted it is? And it almost looks, I like to call it crunchiness. And it's nice, it's, don't, don't get me wrong, you know, we can even invert it and it looks really cool too, so that way we kind of get that. But again, you see that flat area and how sharp that is? Let's go back over to Photoshop. And let's run that same blur now on this one. Let's hit save. And let's go reload that texture. See how much softer that looks? And it, it looked to me it looks better. It looks more like, I don't know, like the underside of a leaf or some sort of monster skin. I really like that. Let's take off the sub and see what that looks like now. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. I think that looks great for like a 3D print or something. All right, let's track out our stone floor that we did. Oh, that looks really nice. And since this is tileable, you can actually tile it over an entire piece if you need to. You know, it would not be that hard to go ahead and do a wrap. Or if you really want to do it this way, you could. I wouldn't suggest doing it this way, but it, it's definitely possible. It's just very hard. Uh, but there's areas over here where you can do that. But that's how you go ahead and create an alpha in Stable Diffusion for ZBrush. Uh, do me a favor, guys. Like below. Comment if you like this kind of thing. Uh, I try to do videos when I find something interesting that I think will help the 3D printing world. And this, to me, is just something I've been playing around with a lot at work. And I thought it was just cool enough to share. So thank you so much for learning with me. Bye-bye.